This is the Henry Homesteader. Big hit the SHOT Show last January. And those of you might remember the Camp 9. I had a couple of Camp 9s and a Camp 45. Camp 9 actually wasn't a bad looking gun. It wasn't particularly well made with the a cheap plastic bolt buffer, etc., etc. Henry's done a great thing. They've taken the pistol cartridge carbine and it looks like a real gun. Walnut, steel, and bluing. Um, we do have some polymer here. You can't get away from it. The, uh, the trigger guard is polymer. It's ambidextrous, as you can see, for the tang safety. And unlike most pistol cartridge carbines, it's just a great looking gun with a nice pad, nice walnut, it's kind of a stippled finish. Threaded for a muzzle, which doesn't mean anything in Illinois, and I don't even know why you'd want a muzzle brake. Comes with uh, a five round and a ten round magazine, and uh, an aperture sight, also known as the ghost ring sight. Take a few shots here at close range just to see how it does. Although you can scope it, it's certainly a, a close range weapon. And ideal for self-defense and everybody would want one low recoil, readily available ammunition. Obviously a bit higher muzzle velocity than you would have with, with a handgun. Certainly with a concealable handgun. So just a great looking gun to have around the house. And let's see how it functions. I've got some Remington uh, UMC Mega Packs here. That are just 115 grain. So let's see how it functions. So that's just a few casual shots from an old guy with uh, that's perspiring and has foggy glasses. You can put an optic on it if you want, um, but I like the way it's set up right now. You might want to move the uh, the group oh half inch high, quarter inch to the left, something like that. That's your choice. Of course it's going to change a little bit based on the, the brand of the ammo and the weight of the ammo. So this gun is exactly what you would expect from a Henry. Throughout the line, uh, the wood is a little nicer, nicer walnut than you would expect. The finish is a little nicer than everything else. Um, I mentioned it comes with a 10 round and a 5 round magazine. There's also an adapter well, so you can use Glock magazines, perhaps Smith & Wesson too. You can check the Henry USA website uh, for, for details. But the tang safety is very, very nice. Easy to take off. Ambidextrous is great. Slings are built in, so you can pop a little sling on there if you want. And you can scope it as well. For what it is, I like it just as is. I think for short range use, as far as 9mm uh, carbines, the Camp 9 that I mentioned, I did use that years ago on Groundhogs. Uh, and it's, it works fine on Groundhogs. But there's no recoil, 
It's fun to shoot. It's a great looking gun. And I think it's built built better than about every other pistol cartridge carbine I've seen. So everybody will like it. If you don't have one, uh, you'll like it. Your wife will like it. Your kids will like it. You're shooting a real firearm, not a tinker toy. And uh, there's really not, not much for me to, uh, to carp about. The only thing I will say is that the trigger is a little on the heavy side. Uh, it's crisp enough, but it is a heavy trigger. And that may be what you want for something that's potentially used for uh, self-defense, home defense. Certainly don't want a hair trigger. I mean, it's not a, a varmint rifle by any means. But this is the Henry Homesteader, and this is my first outing with it. So as you can see, we've got a lot of work to do here as far as mowing and getting some decent shooting lanes. And I have another, another table, a steel table, that I need to assemble and put up. So we'll do a better job in the future. And I've got some 350 Legend work to do because August is at hand and it'll be hunting season, deer season before you know it. So it's the Henry Homesteader, and uh, who isn't going to like it? I mentioned this ambidextrous, ambidextrous uh, magazine release, and perhaps you can see on video, I'm not sure, but you could, the charging handle can be switched from the right side to the left side. So it's just a, it's just a hand, handy little gun. There's just not much to it. And it groups okay, considering that if I'm using the ghost rings, uh, out, outside of that little red dot, everything is just black on black. So I think Henry's going to do real well with it. Uh, Henry is already, I believe, the third largest long gun manufacturer in the United States, if you take uh, Armalite rifles out of the equation. So Henry continues to grow. They've just done a, a great job. And a lot of it, I think, is due to uh, Anthony. Anthony Imperato, who has made a big commitment to United States manufacturing, and the last time I spoke with him, it's been a while, it's just extreme customer service. So that's, uh, that's what I like, is gun companies you can trust, and Henry is one of the few that you can have total confidence in. So. Great looking gun, and of course ejection is solid. I mean, there's no issues with, with feeding or ejection. So check it out. Um, they may, may still be hard to get, but this is a big change for Henry going with a, a semi-auto uh, center fire, even though it is a pistol cartridge. So we'll see you later, hopefully when it's a little cooler and less humid. Take care.